Don't play with me. That's right. What's up? All right. One play. started with this video you already know give it a thumbs up broski all right we have some dope news items for this video we're gonna be talking about that assassin's creed valhalla xbox series x 30 frames per second we're gonna be th talking about metroid prime 4 more news on the shadow game coming to the nintendo switch Apex Legends Season 5. But first, the first news item we're talking about. Ubisoft's event. That's right. We're going to start off <coughs> with some good Ubisoft news before we talk about the 30 frames per second on the Xbox Series X. Ubisoft has announced their digital summer event July 12th. And it's called Ubisoft Forward. A fully digital showcase with exclusive games, news, reveals, and more. And so, with no E3, <coughs> developers, companies are like, hey, we good. We still going to get the information to the fans. And so, we're going to get all new um, information, news um, on Ubisoft's games coming out. More than likely to the Xbox Series X, PlayStation 5. And so, bro, Ubisoft is one of my favorite third-party developers, bro. They are one of the biggest third-party developers. The game you see right here is one of the games I'm very much interested in. Gods, ver Gods and Monsters. I think this is going to be a launch game um, for the Xbox Series X. The game is looking clean, bro. It's reminding me of Kid Icarus um, cross between Zelda Breath of the Wild. The game looks dope, but we've only seen a glimpse, 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 just this brief trailer of the game. And so, can't wait to see what Ubisoft has to show um, coming this summer. But, speaking of Ubisoft, R.I.P. Iwata-san. Speaking of Ubisoft, <laughs> bro, Ubisoft has just confirmed to Eurogamer, and it's weird that Assassin's Creed Valhalla will run at 4K 30 frames per second, for, per second, 30 frames per second minimum on the Xbox Series X. This is their official statement that I'm going to share my thoughts on all of this. <coughs> Ubisoft has always been committed to exploring new technologies, taking advantage of the new capabilities of new consoles to deliver the most immersive experience possible, which is why we are excited to be collaborating with Microsoft to bring Assassin's Creed Valhalla to the Xbox Series X. Currently, we can guarantee that Assassin's Creed Valhalla will run at least 30 frames per second. Assassin's Creed Valhalla will benefit from faster loading times, allowing players to immerse themselves in history and the world without friction. Finally, Assassin's Creed Valhalla will benefit of improved graphics made possible by the Xbox Series X. We can't wait to see the beautiful world we're creating in stunning 4 K resolution. We'll have a lot more to show you about Assassin's Creed Valhalla in the near future, so stay tuned for more information soon. More than likely at this Ubisoft event I just talked about, that's where we're going to finally get gameplay. The whole gameplay gate. We already talked about it. We already did videos on it. Where they said they were going to have gameplay, and it was just a cinematic trailer. But I tweeted this out on Twitter. Follow me at ob one plays on Twitter. You have to follow me if you want to be in our monthly giveaway. Anyway, you got to be subscribed to the channel and follow me on Twitter. But I tweeted out on Twitter. 
I'm not buying any games next generation that's not at least 60 frames per second. Y'all quote me on this. Y'all, I'm going to stay true to that word. Nothing below 60 frames next generation, bro. Nothing. Nothing. Once I go to 60, I ain't going back, bro. But the internet is going crazy. But this, you got to be careful to what, pay attention to what they actually said. That currently we can guarantee, they're saying currently, first, as it is right now, meaning the game isn't even finished. They're saying currently, we can guarantee that Assassin's Creed will run at least 30 frames per second. This is what I think they might have. They might have a 4K 30 frames per second mode and a 1080p 60 frames per second mode. A performance mode or a graphics mode. That's what they're probably going to have. <coughs> um, they did that with a couple of games. Um, I, I remember Monster Hunter World on my Xbox One X. They had that option. But this is why I'm not too upset. Even though I may be passing on this game. Now, if it has a 1080p 60 frames per second option, I'll still buy the game. All right? 60 frames per second is what we're, we're going to be playing, UBI Soft. I know it's Ubisoft, but I'm paying homage to you, watch son. But this is why I'm not tripping too much, bro. This is a third-party game. And so they have to... They're making games for the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X. Maybe, just maybe, the Xbox Series X version could run 4K60. But they're like, you know what? We're just making one version of the game. And the PlayStation 5 could only handle 4K30. So that's what we're going with. The lowest denominator. Just possibly, just speculating. 10 greater than 12. It's like 12 greater than 10. And so, um, that's that. It, it could be that they're just porting just one version of the game and they want it to be on par. Uh, they don't want one version to run better or look better than the other maybe i'm just speculating i don't know but what we do know is they said it's going to be at least 30 frames per second this is why i'm not tripping too much because it's a third party game if phil spencer announces at their whatever they're whenever they're doing their full blowout of their first party games and halo infinite is running at 4k 30 frames per second you got a big problem on your hand, bro. But I doubt it because one of the things Phil Spencer has been touting is 4K60, the minimum for the Xbox Series X. And so I expect for first party games, first party games to be at 4K60, the minimum. All right. And this is another thing you got to consider. The generation is just now starting. It's going to be a lot of cross-generation games coming out the first one or two years where they still want to make games to um, play cross-generation. So the full power of these consoles aren't going to be seen until maybe about two years down. And so, but now that's third party. First party, I expect y'all to bring to bring the fire from jump from day one, bro. And so 4K60, the minimum for first party games. So this is a third party game. I'm not tripping too much, bro. All right, next news item. We're going to get to Metro Prime 4 at last. Apex Legends Season 5 drops tomorrow. The new legend looks lit. You better believe I'm going to check her out. And I will be stream live streaming the new season of Apex Legends Season 5. If you want a game with your boy, become a sponsor. Join the dope community. We in there. We lit, boy. That information will be at the end of the video. And the last news item for this video, Metroid Prime 4 News. Y'all remember this game? Nintendo announced years ago, and then they scratched it. And then they said, we're going to get a different studio to do the game. And I was the only one on the internet that was being true to you, to you dudes and be like, that's crazy. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy, bro. But it's like, man, no, it's okay. Nintendo can do what they want. But Metro Prime 4, they are, <laughs> this is like the most hyped game I'm looking forward to on my Switch. <laughs> and it's probably three years out. <laughs> Metro Retro Studios has hired new VFX artists to continue production for Metro Prime 4. Um, specifically, um, they hired a Battlefield and Star Wars V 
VFX lead. And what these um, persons will do, they're going to be designing and implementing special effects such as explosions, fire, smoke, special abilities, and weapon attacks for the game. This also tells me they're still hiring people. The game still years out. So this is all we've gotten since the announcement, bro. This game was announced three E3s ago, four E3s ago, and we just got a logo, bro. Y'all cool with that? All right, dudes, that is all for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I didn't even do my bro, so it's going to be a bro for my last video. I want to know, but before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out, boy. Peace. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at obi one plays and that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming Discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash ob one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later.